In this video, we will continue with buoyant force. Now, see, I have taken here two bottles. One empty and one filled. Okay. So, the empty bottle floats on water and the filled bottle sinks in the, goes to the bottom of the water. So, the upward force acting on the object in water, in the water, upward force is acting on the bottle. So, this force is called as buoyant force. Okay. An iron sinks in water. But why does massive steel ship, steel ships, the ship made of steel, it floats on water. Why? When an object is deep in liquid, a buoyant force acts on it. When we dip an object in a liquid, upward force, buoyant force acts on it. And hence it appears that weight of object is reduced. So, the weight of that object is reduced. We feel like that. It becomes easier to swim in sea water than in fresh water. This is because density of sea water is higher than density of fresh water. Density means mass upon volume. So density of sea water is high than that of fresh water. Because salts are dissolved in sea water. In this book we have seen that lemon sinks in a glass filled with water. We have studied already in before classes also. Lemon in the glass with salt water sinks because the salts are dissolved. So it directly goes down. Buoyant force depends on two factors. Buoyant force depends on two factors. That is volume of the object and density of the liquid. Volume means the more buoyant force, volume will be more. And more density of liquid, the buoyant force will be more. The last part of this lesson is... Archimedes principle. Okay. Archimedes principle. What is the Archimedes principle? We will see. Okay. When the stone is sunk in water, when we sink the stone in water, what happens? A buoyant force acts on it in upward direction. The weight of stone acts downward. This stone, weight of stone acts in downward direction. And the weight of water acts, the force of water acts in upward direction. So what is the Archimedes principle? When an object is partially or fully immersed, if we immerse it, or if we dip it in the liquid partially or fully, a buoyant force acts on it in upward direction. And this buoyant force is equal to the weight of fluid, the weight of liquid or the air or the air or liquid. Displaced by the object. So the statement states. When an object is partially or fully immersed in liquid. The force of buoyancy acts on it in upward direction. And this force is equal to the weight of fluid displaced by the object. Now what is the use of this Archimedes principle? It is very widely used in construction of ships and submarines. The instruments such as lactometer, hygrometer are also based on this principle. Last part, density of substance and relative density. Density means mass upon volume. The unit of density is kilogram per meter cube. The property is very useful in deciding the purity of substance. How pure is the substance? We can decide by the density. And the relative density it is the density of substance and density of water. It is the ratio of density of substance and water. Related density is also called as specific gravity. It is also called as specific gravity. Understood the lesson? Yes. In next video, we will continue with next lesson. Thank you.